Hey everyone, I am Nakai Chi of Sentaku Media, and in this video, I am going to show you how you can pimp up your stream by using this chat. As you see right here behind me, it's called Pixel Chat. And not only that it provides a scrolling chat for your stream, but there's also a few other goodies that we're going to show you here in this video. So stay tuned. All right, so to kick off our tutorial, we are going to head over to pixelchat.tv, and that is where you're going to sign in with your Twitch account. And when you are signed in, you'll have a screen that just like this that has your uh, overlays, your scenes, and your captions. So this provide a, a captioning service for those that want to add captions to their stream for those that are hearing impaired. But what we're going to do this tutorial we're gonna to go to overlays so right now as you see I already have some overlays that I personally use for my chat so we are gonna go ahead and look at what we have already just to make it easier and of course when you make your own account you can adjust it accordingly to your needs so this is what the options look like so on the right side we're gonna have where it will be a preview of what the chat looks like and that way when you put your overlay in you can um, just accordingly in OBS and all that good stuff so right here we have our fade out messages which will fade out the, ta uh, the chat box as soon as they come in and then you can set to how long they should stay on the screen before it fades out so right here I have set to 60 seconds and then you can also set the animation to how it is and actually you know what let's go ahead and put the preview mode on so you can see exactly what's going on so when we have the chat preview up we are going to look at what else we have so right now I have it set down set to fade in down big but you can set it up to fade in from the left or from the right so it's up to you how you want to do it so I'm right, gonna put it back to my own and then we got fade out animation which is gonna show as it fades out from the screen or rather yeah fades out from the screen from the timer that, that is but as you can see, it's just going to go on forever, forever, forever. And then you can set the colors to how you want. So we got the text message colors white and the background uh, blue for my layout. Or rather, what you would call brand colors. <laughs> brand colors. And then we got the style. You had a text outline, which actually adds a little bit of depth to the chat. And actually, as we increase, you can see how the... The strokes around the text is making it gray. So right now I have it set to one. So it looks a little nice. I had it set to just the basic. And you can also set the color to how you want to. So it's already set to black. You can't see it, but it is set to black. And you can also show the icons in chat too, where it says next to AC pixel and pixel. That's where uh, the person uh, has the avatar set and have their face shown. <laughs> And also you have the rounding of the chat box. So right now it's slightly rounded. Kind of making a, a perfect smooth rectangular shape right now. So we're gonna leave it as it is, but I'm gonna just for a second tutorial I'll show it. And see, we make it very round or it's very square, but we're gonna put it back to where I normally have it, which is probably. Uh, and then of course you can change the font size to make it huge or small. So have a and then you got the font face here so you have a few fonts here but if you get a pro account you can um, have customized fonts as well but I like the font that we have set right here so and also you can hide other chats to start with the command so when you use exclamation commands it will won't show on a chat if you but rather it's showing a chat you can just uncheck it and um, also there's a preview mode which is what you currently see right here and also you can chat have chat alignment so you can have it coming from whatever directions whether you want to come from the bottom or from the top as it's you know it's raining chat basically <laughs> and also you can change the uh, position of the chat so you can have it like this 
or like this kind of like a star wars thing or door revolving door kind of like a 3d effect so it's pretty cool so that's for your chat overlay and then of course when we are done we're gonna go back to overlays and then we're gonna open that in a new tab so what's gonna happen is that whatever you get in a new tab when you copy link or duplicate well rather when you copy link you're gonna put that in your obs uh tab so that way you can customize it the way you want but ultimately if you want everything in one spot instead of just one specific element you're going to go to scenes and this is where your scenes are kind of like in stream elements or stream labs if you're familiar with those software um this was the one i used for gaming so you can also use that hit open a new tab to um get your uh URL, which of course is going to be known to only you, kind of like the standard fare of Stream Elements and Stream Labs. But we're going to go ahead and go into it and see what we got. So right here we have that a preview of the Stream Chat, but also this one right here. We're going to talk about this one. So this this is a shout out overlay. It's pretty much the same instructions as with the chat, but you got more customization options. You got the text color, accent color, background color ingredient color and you can hide the background if you want but what's cool about this is that when you do the shout out let's do test shout out and see how it appears thanks ow that was loud on my end y'all probably heard that too but chances are you probably won't be able to hear it in the video because i got it i don't have the environment set up <laughs> but you can set up to not have a sound effect a uh, play when you use the shout out command which is s exclamation s o and also it will show you can come up customize it to how you have it set up here in the middle but also you can show their last streaming and then also their follow count if you want or also you can show them show a random clip on the stream which is pretty cool that's your uh shout out overlay that you can add to this scene and also you can set it here to how you have your scene set up and height and all that stuff so so real quick we are going to go back to our overlay screen and show you what else you can add to your scene to add into obs and of course we've got the chat and shout out those are the two main ones that we just showed you but also you have captions and also you have emotes status bar timer and now playing pixel alert counter and group and also we have these other ones are for Paying customers only. If you have a pro account, you, can, you have access to these as well. But I ultimately I got this because I really like the look of it. Because unfortunately, stream elements it feels like it's limited as to how much you can customize it, especially you know when it comes to font and stuff like that, or you know just how it looks overall. So going back to Pixel Chat and how it is here in our stream preview, I really like the look and feel of it, and I feel that. It can be mixed with stream elements and or stream labs if you prefer the look of one compared to the other but i really like the look of the chat and i know it feels like that stream elements is lacking as far as uh, the way you can customize the checks chat but i'm hoping they make improvements on that in the future but ultimately i do really like pixel chat and also does support a uh, better ttv emotes or frankercy emotes as well so and also animates in there too it's pretty cool so if that's something you want be sure to check them out it is free but if you want to go a step beyond you can pay for a pro account for either further customization but i hope that helps you and looking for your new checks chat for your stream and if you like this video be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and the video and i hope to have more tutorials for you here in the future so until next time i'm nakaichi signing out